folks, it's here. It's week one. Last year was week zero, so it's a little bit of a taste, but college football season officially back. And our two local teams got to put on a show for their home crowds, both here in El Paso and in Las Cruces. We have sports director Adrian Ochoa live at the Sun Bowl for UTEP's home opener against Incarnate Word and ABC7 sports reporter Rachel Phillips up in Las Cruces where the Aggies took on the Western Illinois Leathernecks. We'll get to both of them in just a second, but let's get a lowdown about both teams fared this evening. And I got a big smile on my face, so it might be a spoiler warning as the Miners and the Aggies both started 0-1 last week. Now we're going to head to the Sun Bowl as coach Dana Dimmel and his team got to enjoy 80s ninth with the minor faithful. Now, I just want to give you guys a heads up. This one's definitely going to stress you out because the first half was super duper back and forth. Incarnate Word actually getting on the board first. Zach Calzada finds his receiver for a 34 yard strike in the back of the end zone. So now it's time for UTEP to respond. Here's Torrance Burgess. He's going to get out to the outside. He's going to head down the right sideline. Keep going, turn on the wheels. And that's six. That's going to tie the ball game up in the first quarter. He's pumped. The Miners are loving it. But again, more back and forth as the Cardinals retake the lead with this touchdown by Trey Siggers. Now, the Miners are going to respond just a few minutes later in the second quarter. A little pass out to the flat, makes a nice move. And it is 14 14 there. Now, let's look at this. This is how the game ended. He's a hero, folks. That is in the end zone. Miners up 28 to 14. Trez Moore walks away triumphant as he delivers the Miners their first win, 28-14 over the Cardinals. Now let's actually get you over to the Sun Bowl where we find our sports director, Adrian Ochoa. Adrian, what a different night for the Miners than it was last year. Yeah, definitely, Sam. A tale of two halves, no doubt, as the defense allowing 14 points for Incarnate Word, the UTEP Miners allowing 14 points. And in the second half, they pitched a shutout. No points for the Cardinals in the second half. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and step away. As you see, the celebration here at the Sun Bowl continues. Some of the minor players still here celebrating with the fans, shaking hands with the fans as you hear the band playing. But uh, again, a tale of two halves as the Miners, the game was tied at 14 at the half. The Miners putting up 14 points in the, the second half. Courtesy, the run game for the Miners was just amazing. You want to know how many rushing yards the Miners had tonight? Try this. 329 yards ru rushing. Who carried the load for the Miners? Well, that would be the former Parkland Matador, Deion Hankins. A big night for him as Deion Hankins had 24 carries for 174 yards. The rushing game for the Miners was the difference in this game in securing the win for UTEP. Gavin Hardison, meanwhile, threw for 94 yards. He had two touchdown passes, two touchdown, two rushing touchdowns. So again, a mixed bag here at the Miners. A good game, second half at least. First half was a little bit of sloppy play from the Miners. But a win is a win as the Miners pick up their first win of the season. They are now 1-1, one and one, and it doesn't get any easier from here on out because next week they head to Big Ten country when they go to Northwestern. The Miners won't be back here at the Sun Bowl until September 23rd when they host UNLV. But like I said, Sam, a win is a win, and the Miners will take it any which way as the Miners come out victorious in this one by a final score of 28-14. to 14. For now, we'll send things back to you, Sam, in the studio. Awesome, Adrian. Now, can the borderline